Alright, this comp blitz guy is going to be really mostly about working on the jerk. Um, we are going to be doing a clean deadlift in a hang clean to get it up to the front rack position to get to those dips that you see, or jerk dips that you see, to get to that jerk at the end. Um, so let's, we're going to make sure that we're doing those the best that we possibly can. Now for this complex, you can of course use a PVC or a light training bar. Um, I would probably recommend a, a regular bar at least, and then of course you can go up and wait for those individuals that are ready to do that if you do multiple sets of this. But that front rack position is a tough area for a lot of people, myself included, uh, too tough for me to be able to use a PVC and get it into a good position here. So I'm gonna demo this uh, with a regular bar so I don't embarrass myself too bad uh, once again, all right? So we have one clean deadlift, one clean from above the knee, three jerk dips, and one jerk. Now on that jerk, if any of your people uh, aren't too familiar with the split jerk, you can take this opportunity to work on that, or you can just have them do a power jerk or a push jerk so you can really zero in on that dip uh, and, and the drive uh, from that good dip position because that's what this complex is really mostly about is getting that dip down and if that's if them thinking about the split jerk is going to cause them to do that which it does for a lot of people I know my for me as a coach I take away the split jerk uh, from a lot of people just so they can really learn that dip and drive better because because they're always anticipating that split a little bit too much so just a consideration for you there but what we're going to do again if you're starting with a PVC or an, or an empty bar make sure that they're starting in about a mid shin mid shin position we're going to go ahead and do a clean deadlift, standing up, just keeping the bar closed, keeping the back tight, trying to hit those good positions. Uh, once again, we don't want to lift around the knees or see them rocking too far back on their heels when they're doing that. So we want to see that good, clean deadlift. We're going to then set up with the bar touching the top of the kneecap once again, like you've seen in, in other complexes. And again, we don't want to be here or here. Just make sure they've got that slight bend that big toe buried into the ground, back tight, shoulders on top of the bar, hold that briefly. And then like we did in the other clean complex, from here we're gonna focus on and reinforce that brush at the upper quad. Okay, we need to get that in. Whatever you need to be creative or just be creative and figure out how you can teach them that if they're not already doing that, a lot of people will go from here and then just kind of do that. We wanna see that brush in the upper quad can help them be more effective and efficient with heavy weight and low weight, high repetition. All right, so we're here. Uh, this is the hang clean. We're gonna do one rep per uh, set. Gonna get in this position here, their jerk setup position. And now we're gonna do three reps of a jerk dip, nice and slow. Pause briefly, and then stand. So we wanna see, first of all, that they're not set up like this. When they dip down, we don't want to see this or a forward dip in general, but that the shoulders stay directly over the hips. Pause and stand. And then the third rep, pause and stand on the jerk. Again, you can do power or split. Just because I'm in my house right now, I'm going to do a power jerk. You can choose to pause and do the power jerk. Or as you go through sets, if you feel comfortable enough, them doing the jerk without the pause. Uh, once again, that's your decision there and you can kind of progress into that as needed. So again, clean deadlift, plus hang clean, plus three jerk dips, plus jerk. Let's get that the dip of the jerk down uh, a little bit better, guys.